very very warm welcome to all of you i hope all you guys are having a super duper amazing day going on i know it's been long since we did an academic class i know because we were all in the space journey we were going to different different planets and we were visiting all of that so right now since we are back on earth we are starting with you know our academics again and we are in what chapter we are here with electricity and circuits now you all know this is part two of the session so what's up people i hope all of you guys are having a super amazing day going on and are you all ready for this amazing session give me a quick yes all right so if you guys are all new here that means you do not know me my name is mohan master teacher of science from vedantu and if you guys are new to vedantu young wonders do not forget to hit on that subscribe button right away all right so with that level of energy let's quickly start with the session so uh, and by the way guys yes we all know that we'll be learning this concepts very easily but it's also important that you guys check how much you have you know uh, understood in today's session so everybody after this class there is going to be a week quiz link below the video attempt the week quiz and check how much you guys have understood in today's session okay so everybody do check it out now next one so what are all the learning outcomes that is going to be today in today's session the learning outcomes uh, will be learning about electric switches electric circuits uh, uh, conductors and insulators so guys let's let's learn about what we understood in the previous class in the previous class we understood how important electricity is we also understood uh, you know the source of electricity the electric cell the source of light the electric bulb how to connect the cell and the bulb together so all of that is what we understood today's class specifically about circuits switches and conductors and insulators theek hai super simple everybody listen right now okay if you guys are there on instagram you can follow me on my instagram handle which is learn underscore with underscore mohan okay so let us start with the session all right <laughs> first of all what is a electric circuit guys wait a minute before we understand this let me may break it down into very simple concepts so you guys will never forget this all right let's go to our whiteboard all right so guys imagine i know many of you guys would have played with your uh, toy train you know i'm pretty sure you, you all might have played with your toy train there will be a track on the track you will have your beautiful cute you know cute train right Ima this is your train guys okay i'm really good in drawing <laughs> all right now what happens the train will keep on running in this track everything is good everything is amazing all of that is okay but what if the track is cut will the train uh, you know will the train run on the track not at all but why are we learning about train and tracks right now i want you guys all to compare the train with what with electric current and the track as the circuit okay so guys circuit is nothing but it's a path for the current guys okay it's the path for the current to flow now if the path is complete okay that is if the circuit is complete the train will run that means the current will flow if the current flows then the uh, let's say if there is a bulb in the circuit the bulb will glow right what if the circuit is open so guys if there is a break in the circuit all right if there is a break in the circuit that means mm -mm, the circuit the circuit is incomplete or it can also be called as broken or open okay the circuit is open here the circuit is closed that means there will be no flow of current so there would be no glow 
so in order for the uh, you know uh, equipments in the circuit to work it might be a bulb it might be anything at all the circuit should be complete the path should be closed only then the current will flow through the electric circuit got it guys simple let's have this diagram we'll come back to this let's go back to our slides okay so an electric circuit is a complete path for the electricity or current to pass between two terminals of the cell so we already know that cell has two terminals one is the positive terminal other one is the negative terminal and we also know that the electric current always flows from the po positive terminal towards the negative terminal so conventionally electric current flows from positive terminal to the negative terminal of the battery so if that complete flow happens then the circuit is complete understood guys and i hope you guys remember which side is positive which side is negative the metal cap side is positive the metal disc side is negative of the uh, cell okay now what if the bulb is fused to understand this guys instead of the train and track no we will actually draw a circuit let's go back to our whiteboard let's actually draw a circuit first we'll we'll draw using our normal uh, diagrams without using electric circuit diagrams a normal diagram we'll take the electric a uh, uh, switch a switch is the source of electricity i mean uh, sorry uh, uh, a cell a cell is the source of electricity positive terminal negative terminal let's take some wires oops okay let's take some wires and these wires should be connected to what the bulb so bulb has what bulb has a metallic base and a glass case on the above inside the bulb what do we have we have the thin wire that is the filament so the one wire goes to one terminal of the bulb and the other wire to the other terminal of the bulb okay so now what happens guys the current starts to flow right from positive it starts to flow uh, you know into the filament the filament starts to glow now because of the heat and it comes back to the negative terminal so can we call this as a closed circuit yes because the circuit is closed and the bulb is glowing okay but wait a minute what if the filament is cut uh oh what if the filament is cut here now what happened to the path there is a break in the circuit the current is not able to flow back to negative terminal so that time we call the bulb is fused so fused bulb will not glow because the circuit is incomplete okay simple as that very interesting guys good job now let's go for the uh, uh, slides again so fused bulb Uh, has a broken filament and it won't glow at all okay now what about a switch so guys we all know that see if you take off wires the bulb will stop working if you connect the wires again the bulb will start glowing but can you keep doing this for all the uh, appliances that we have no you can't play with wires it's very dangerous in that case we need a, a safety device to safely turn on and turn off the circuit now what is that that is a switch so switch is used to either make or break a circuit okay a switch is said to be in on position when it completes the circuit allowing electric current to pass through it a switch is said to be off when it breaks the circuit and does not allow electric current to pass through it so guys this you see right now on the screen is a on switch this is a off switch okay so open switch means the switch is off a uh, 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 closed switch means the switch is on got it it's, it's a little jumbled here so off uh, this is the off position uh, of the switch and this is the on position of the switch got it don't get confused let me draw and show you anyways white board where is the white board yes here it is okay so let us now uh, draw using the symbols okay we have the we have the cell a battery and we have wires okay 
and we have the bulb now instead here what we'll have is we'll have a switch okay now the switch is closed the bulb will glow because current is flowing right so this is called a closed circuit or the switch is in on position switch is on so it's a closed circuit bulb will glow now what if the switch is off the switch will be like this then if it is off position It will be like this. It will not be in touch. It will be like this. So current will not be able to flow. So this is a off switch and the circuit is open. The bulb will not glow at all. Okay, simple as that. This is how switches work, guys. Very simple. So switch is either used to make a circuit like this or to break a circuit. Got it? Beautiful. You guys are all amazing. Okay, let's go forward. Yes. Now what are conductors and insulators? Okay, so there are certain materials which allow electric current to pass through them and there are certain materials which do not allow electric current to pass through them. So the materials which allow electric current to pass through them, they are called as conductors. The materials which do not allow, they are called as insulators. But how can you check if something is a conductor or if something is an insulator? By making our own tester, guys. We can literally make our own tester to check if something is a conductor or an insulator. But how do we make it? Before I tell you how to make your own tester, I have something exciting to tell all of you. Now, what is that? That is all about Vedantu's courses, guys. And guys, guess what? This time, it is super exciting for you guys to take up the courses. Where can you find the link? Scroll down my video. You can find class 6 CBSE. So click on this link. Once you click on this link, check this out. For one year, the entire year for three subjects, that is your math, science, and English, you're getting Vedantu courses for just 8,100, guys. Okay? All right. So not just classes, you'll be having live in-class doubt solving. So 100% doubts will be solved in the class. In-class quizzes and leaderboards and assignments and class notes, all India test series, study materials. Apart from all of this, what if you don't improve in your studies after taking up Vedantu? get the money back because you have Vedantu improvement promise. That is, if there is no improvement in your studies, get the money back. Just get it. That is super cool. Right, guys? Now, all you have to do is click on buy now because only limited seats are available, guys. So 8,100, you're getting one year ka complete course and you can also try it out for 15 days for 1,100. So make sure you guys at least try because then you guys will definitely take up the course. It's amazing. So I want you guys all to show this website to your parents. You all know where the link is. The link is right below the video. Click on this link. Show this to your parents. Tell them what all you're getting in this package for 8,100 for one year, three subjects. And uh, you can also try for 15 days. Okay. Check it out, guys. And it's going to be super exciting. So make sure you guys don't miss it. All right. Now, if you're not from sixth grade, you can change your grade here to seventh, eighth, for 8, you also have foundation courses. So go check it out, guys. It's a beautiful website. Check it out. All right. So how many of you guys are going to show this to your parents and uh, get enrolled into Vedantu? 8,100 for one year, guys, for three subjects. So make sure you guys take it up because I want you guys all in my batches. Don't get late. You can see. You can see you can join my batches. Where am I? Where am I? See? Come on, join my batches. <laughs> all right. So let's go for the... Uh, uh, you know, uh, the uh, content. And guys, by the way, I told you how to make your own tester, right? Very simple, guys. You can use the same thing. Okay. So, for tester, what you can do is, you have a circuit. Okay, we'll, we'll make another circuit here. A nice, beautiful circuit. Okay. Come on, Moon, you can do it. Okay, you have a battery. What else do you need? You have a bulb. All right. Let's connect them together. Now the bulb will definitely glow. But wait, we need a tester. So we'll cut here. We'll take two ends. Like this. And then we will keep things here. For example, let's say, you know, I'm keeping a spoon. Okay. 
and I'm wrapping this wire here and here. So if electric current is passing through this spoon, the bulb will glow. That means the spoon is a conductor. Now instead of the spoon, what if I use, let's say, a wood, a pencil. A pencil, will it glow? No, because wood is an insulator. So this is how you can make your own testing or tester. All right, guys. So make sure you guys all try it out. It's very fun. Got it, guys. So yup, yup, yup. We are, we are, we now know that what is a conductor and what is an insulator, isn't it? Amazing. So conductors are mainly metallic, while insulators are not mainly non-metallic. Examples of conductors: water, gold, copper, steel, all of it. Insulators: oil, uh, uh, wood glass rubber all of that are insulators so both of co conductors and insulators have their own uses guys okay for for example conductors are used for making wires insulators are used for making switches gloves and lot of things all right so yep guys i hope all of you understood what we discussed today in electricity and circuits chapter we have successfully completed it and do not forget to take up the week quiz which is right below in the description to check how much you guys have understood in today's session I will be seeing who's going to be there on the leaderboard. Okay. So make sure that you guys all definitely check out the entire website. Take up the courses right today because I don't want you guys to miss out the batches. Only limited seats. Take it up. All right. So I hope all of you had fun, guys. We'll definitely meet up in the coming session. So until then, this is me, Mohan, signing off. All of you take care and do not forget to hit on that subscribe, share, like buttons right away. Okay, so see you all in the next class, guys. Bye, bye. Next class is going to be a week quiz. Okay, bye, bye.